Hello, today we are going to look at how to build a tensegrity model. With a little practice, you will be able to make one of these out of any material, in any size, with very little effort. We hope that by understanding this concept, you will find thinking with models much easier. In order to build the model, we must first start with six rods, notched at either end, and complete with elastic string, connecting from each of the notches. For this model, we are using rods that are 12 inches in length, notches at half an inch in length, and 12 inches of string for each rod. However, you can build this model in any scale. In addition, we are adding 12 rubber tips for safety. To attach the string, simply knot each end of the string and insert both knots into one side of the rod. Pull the looped end to the other notch. In this model, we have completed the step for each rod. Here, we are going to give each rod a number based on its appearance in the model to help guide you. If you are having difficulties, we recommend labeling your own pieces until you feel comfortable with their relationship to one another. To begin the model, make sure you have all of your rods complete with their strings, but with the caps off. Keep the caps close at hand. We begin by simply separating one rod from the others. This will be rod 1. Next, insert the strings from rod 1 into one of the notches of rod 2 and rod 3. You are not required to cap the ends at this point. However, you may find the entire thing easier to work with if you do. Next, you will take rod 4 and mirror rod 1's connection. What should result is the shape of a capital I. Essentially, what we have here is a model of the two-dimensional planes, a positive and a negative in both the x and y axes. To give it the third dimension, attach rod 5 to rod 2 in the same fashion, followed by rod 6 to the other string of rod 2. If you have been living dangerously, now is the time to cap your rods. Most importantly is the last connection you have just made. Without proper security, the next step may turn them into missiles. Just make sure to leave the top ends of rods 5 and 6 open. Now, you will lift rod 3 up the length of rods 5 and 6, and then attach them appropriately. Our model represents three-dimensional movement, as it now includes a z-axis. The model, however, is far from stable. To give it the strength, as well as the stability it needs, we will now connect rods 1 and 4 to rods 5 and 6. If you have left your rods uncapped, then you are a step ahead. If not, remove both caps from rods 1 and 4. Now, you will bring the same ends of rods 1 and 4 to either side of rod 5. Attach the strings as before, and cap the ends. Carefully pull the opposite sides of rods 1 and 4, and repeat the previous step with rod 6. Here is where you have to pay the most attention to the model, as it will start to fight itself with tension. Finally, adjust the strings so the tips of the rods sit at the middle of each string. Your model is looking good. Now you have the tools to accurately visualize a complete three-dimensional system. This tutorial has been brought to you by the Sustainable Architecture Department of Los Angeles Trade and Technical College. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.